York City is now planning to send flyers to the southern border, urging migrants not to even come there. The flyers saying there's no guarantee the city would be able to provide shelter and that housing is very expensive. So, quote, consider another city. This is Texas Governor Greg Abbott during a rare speech in New York, hit back at the criticism he's faced for busing thousands of asylum seekers there. Take a listen. The city of New York and the state of New York are dealing with. It's caused by one person, Joe Biden. Joe Biden can flip that switch any day and stop New York from having to deal with the consequences of an open border. And while Abbott did applaud Mayor Eric Adams and New York Governor Kathy Hochul for keeping the pressure on President Biden to rein in the migrant crisis, Hochul later defended the White House's response and said she will not be taking advice from Abbott. Uh, for more on this one, let's bring in New York City Councilwoman Vicki Palladino, uh, a Republican representing Queens. Uh, Vicki, I had to have, have you back on because a couple weeks ago you and I got cut short, uh, cut short for breaking news. Can we, we have a lot to unpack. Can I first get your reaction to this new plan from Mayor Eric Adams announced just this week that to help alleviate the migrant pressures in the city, the city would start busing the homeless upstate? That sounds a whole lot like the very Texas plan he criticized Governor Greg Abbott for. Uh, well, there's several different plans. Like you mentioned earlier, it was about, uh, you know, handing out flyers at the border, but also, uh, I do believe that if we can, with Hochul, you know, Hochul's con uh, actually controlling what's going on here. Uh, she already said she will refuse all buses to go upstate to other counties. Uh, I think we should do that, and I think we should uh, put them in the blue counties upstate. Leave the red counties alone. Let the blue counties figure this out, because this has become a political football now. And uh, because of her uh, decisions that she's made thus far, that we, the city of New York, five boroughs, that have already had uh, 9 million people, plus our situation with our own homeless crisis, I think we should spread the wealth. Yeah. And I think Hochul should really, uh, you know, get behind all this BS that she's trying to push on everybody else and the fact that, you know, she doesn't uh, understand Abbott and all this other. It's a bunch of, she needs to step up. You know who else needs to step up? Who? We have a, a New York State Senator here by the name of Chuck Schumer, okay, who's been allowed to hold office uh, for, what, 30 years now? And he's not pushing for anything down in Washington. He's not putting any pressure on the president of the United States. No, listen. And, and Vicki, what do you say to people who are, are critical of that to say, you know, you should bust them elsewhere, but, you know, bust them to blue cities. What do you say to critics of, of this kind of plan who say, but that just takes the problem, you know, exasperates it, it takes it to, to a new part of the country and doesn't do anything to actually solve the issue at hand? Let Let's be let's be clear. The only way this issue is going to be solved is if the border gets closed. Now we all know, with Biden in the White House and that inept organ, uh, operation he's got going on down there, that administration, they can't deal with anything. There's no sense of reality. So now we, as individual states, need to do what we need to do, and cities need to do what we need to do to stop and protect what's going on in our own little world here in, as individual states and cities. And, uh, and speaking of your own individual world, we know that the migrant crisis is causing cuts to your city's library system, uh, meals for seniors, other services that folks depend on. It's cutting overtime pay uh, for city departments, first responders. What kind of impact is this? I mean, take us on the ground there. For those not in New York City this morning, how are people living in New York? Uh, how are they living there and how are they reacting to this? Well, right now, uh, it's an absolute disaster. As you know, what you see on TV is absolutely real. Uh, and these cutbacks to our police, to our sanitation, uh, to everything that just makes this city go, uh, we've got homeless, we've got filth on the street. We've got rat infestations now. We've got things that we need people to be working overtime, not to be cut. And the the way the cut is going to happen is it's going to be 5% uh, this this fall. And then we're going to see another 5% in the wintertime and then another 5% 
over into the summertime. So the mayor has asked these individual agencies to make their necessary cuts, and it's it's going to wreak absolute turmoil. Yeah, yeah. These people cannot come to this city anymore. A big sign has got to be put out there that we are not giving anything away for free. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.